All right, so here's what we're working on now. Now this taste tour has something, in my opinion, kind of special. Man, it's nice out here, isn't it? It is. It's warming up again. Anyway, uh, this is, this okay. This is Guinness Turn it around. West Indies Porter. Right. So yeah, this is something kind of special. I don't. I've never seen this back in the U.S. This we is the have Guinness. The other one. No, and there's a Dublin Porter too. We'll do that later on a taste tour. But this is the Guinness West Indies Porter, Brewer's Source, 1801, St. James's Gate, Dublin. Um. So if you'll go ahead and take the camera from me. You don't want me to read the back. Give me the give me the bottle and take the camera. A grip of. Is it still filming? I never trust. Yes. The Brewers Project, that's the glasses it comes in. Uh, a group of enterprising brewers on a quest to explore new recipes, reinterpret old ones, and collaborate freely to bring exciting beers to life. With origins in an 1801 entry in our Brewers Diaries, Guinness West Indies Porter is a complex yet mellow, hoppy with notes of toffee and chocolate. So, brewed in Ireland, Guinness and Company, St. James's Gate, Dublin, Ireland. Literally right down the street. <laughs> yeah. Which is actually pretty fucking cool. Right across the river. 6% alcohol by volume. Yeah, literally just down in that direction. That Probably way. Probably not even a mile. So, okay, let's try it. Mmm, smells okay. It smells pretty good. It's like no foam. Uh, well, that's because I'm pouring it good, but... Get well, little, that's okay. pretty good. It's pretty good right there. Mm. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's. I, I kind of have a. I kind of have trouble tasting the difference between a lot of the Guinness stuff, like. It feels to me like they do the same stout kind of over and over again on um, on their like stuff other than the original draft Guinness, but it's good. I mean, I mean, I certainly don't get toffee and chocolate, but whatever. Give it a shot. See what you think. You don't get toffee and chocolate. No. I get a little bit of toffee. Really? In the beginning. Yeah. Not I. Yeah. It's a little bit bland, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I honestly felt like the Dublin Porter had more flavor. Now, granted, we had it on draft, not in a bottle. It almost tastes, yeah. it doesn't really taste like much of anything. No. Like, if you gave this to me, I couldn't tell you it was Guinness. Is, is it, correct me if I'm wrong here, not a lot of flavor. No. But to be fair, Guinness doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's true. But it's more creamy. Right, it's creamy. Um, I think my rating on this would be about a six. Because it's not bad. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's not terrible. I just was expecting more. It's I, just not as, like, back home, we have a lot of the craft brews who are yeah. like, oh, double chocolate. Well, we chocolate were discussing espresso, that. Chocolate espresso, chocolate peanut butter, you know? Yeah, I mean, we were discussing that in how, you know, uh, craft beer in the U.S. basically ruins you for this kind of stuff. So. Well, the guy at the store said that we have the best beer. Yeah, the, the Irish guy was just like, the American craft beer is the best. So, which, you know, I can't really disagree with. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a six. What do you give it? I'd probably give it a five and a half. Okay, so six and a five and a half. Yeah. The Guinness West Indies Porter. More tours to come from here in Phoenix Park in Dublin, so stick around.